Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today, well, uh, if you're a vegetarian, run away now because I'm going to show you something to do with a pig's head, brawn or head cheese, or fromage de tête. So a couple of weeks ago, my wife was shopping in town, she'd gone to the market and she called me, she says, uh, I'm at this butcher's stall, they've got pig's heads, they're two pounds each, do you want one? <laughs> I said, oh yeah, please. Um, I've never actually done anything with a pig's head, unlike David Cameron. So really, practically, the only thing you can do it is brawn or head cheese or fromage de tête, as the French would have it. And it's great, you know, because if we're going to slaughter animals to eat them, then we should eat every single bit, shouldn't we, really? So don't be squeamish, like me. Uh, just get on with it, all right? Brawn, easy. Let's do it. Right, ingredients for the brawn, or the head cheese. I've got um, carrots, a couple of sticks of celery, a couple of onions, uh, two teaspoons of parsley, teaspoon of whole black peppercorns, and a pig's head. Now, a pig's head is an enormous thing. I, I couldn't believe it the first time we had one a few months ago. And really, you want the butcher to chop it up for you. This is in like five or six pieces. Unless you have a bandsaw, or a massive big chopper and the skill to chop this beast into bits without also chopping your fingers off. Get the butcher to do it. <laughs> so first thing to do, I've got my biggest pan. I'm gonna pop these chunks of head in and cover them with water and bring it to the boil. So you wanna just roughly chop your veggies. Um, so you wanna to top and tail your vegetables, cut them into big chunks and put them in the pan with the pig's head. So pop the carrots and the onions and the celery in and also the black peppercorns and the parsley and top it up with water as much as you can without the risk of it splashing over the top. Now there's a lot of stuff in there. It will boil down after a bit and we'll be able to press it down and get a lid on. But um, Just keep an eye on it for now. So, <laughs> Mrs. Keith Cooks, who is never wrong, has just informed me that uh, I've misled you. The last time I did it, I did it like this. I split it into two pans and then, you know, at the end of cooking, after three or four hours of simmering, you take the meat out and you combine the liquid from both pans to make the stock. Now then, that's had a good old boil and it's been cooling down a little bit. So now I'm going to just whoa, pull the meat out of both pans and oh that really is falling off the everything <laughs> you wouldn't believe actually how much meat there is on a pig's head it's quite a lot okay that's a load of meat and I'm gonna put that in the fridge to chill it down quickly now we need to sort out the stock so I want to strain off the vegetables which uh, have done their job and there we've got a huge amount of stock which I'm now going to boil rapidly to reduce by about a half. Okay, here's the stock reduced and what I'm going to do now is put it in a couple of containers and stick it in the freezer because we don't particularly want it to freeze although it doesn't matter if it does but what what will happen in the freezer is the fat will separate out from the stock itself and the fat is wonderful it's like pork dripping and the stock is what we need for jellyfying the brawn. So I've kind of melted the stock and I've just put it in the freezer because it needs to be cold again before we add it to the cooked meat otherwise that's a health hazard. Now the gruesome bit if you're squeamish like me is to get the meat off the bone of the pig's head. There's only one way to do that and that's to scrape it off by hand and try not to think too much about what exactly these bits were. <laughs> and you're going to need a loaf tin lined with a couple of layers of plastic film or greaseproof paper to form the brawn in. Okay, the next day, <laughs> here's the brawn set and uh, I've just been looking at my footage and realised that I didn't actually capture the bit where I put the meat and the jelly into the loaf tin. Sorry about that. So, I mean, basically what you do, you put your bits of meat in a bowl, just enough stock to moisten everything. The stock needs to be warmed up a little bit if it's set solid, but not too warm. And then you pour it inside the plastic film lining 
and top it up with a bit more stock and then just wrap it up and stick it in the fridge and let it set. Anyway, here it is. Oh yeah. That's set very well indeed. I like it. So let's have a slice. So don't be put off by the name or what it's made from because it's, because it's absolutely wonderful. Mm. And tasty and costs almost nothing. So, you know, go and get a pig's head. Do this. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you can get the full recipe on my website, keithcooks.com, and there should be a link kicking around on the screen over there or down there. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Link, link. And uh, talk to me. Leave comments, make requests, keep it civil and friendly or I will ban you. And thanks for watching and see you next time.